Hi, and welcome to another edition of Your Health with Dr. Christie. My name's Dr. Christy Reisinger. Today we're going to talk about COVID-19 and pregnancy. I first need to start off by saying we simply don't have much information about this topic, but I'm going to give you the information that we do have and hopefully give you some reassurance. Based on prior coronaviruses that include Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, or MERS, and Sudden Acute Respiratory Syndrome, or SARS, which are both coronaviruses, we would think that pregnant women would be at very great risk with COVID-19, but that hasn't been shown to be the case so far, and I'm so thankful. With MERS and with SARS, we were seeing premature delivery, morbidity and mortality in women who are pregnant. They were getting some really serious diseases during their pregnancy and their babies were also affected. We're so far not seeing that with COVID-19. I can tell you about two studies out of China so far. These studies checked for vertical transmission, meaning that when a mother was pregnant, she gave COVID-19 to her baby while the baby was still in utero. This study followed nine pregnant women that contracted COVID-19 late in pregnancy. I'm happy to report that no infants were born with COVID-19, and none of the pregnant women developed severe pneumonia or complications from COVID-19. This is such good news. The second study out of China also studied nine pregnant women and 10 infants that contracted COVID-19 just prior or during delivery. Also, none of these infants were born with COVID-19. That means that no vertical transmission occurred. However, in this study, some infants had some issues at birth and were unsure if this was related to COVID-19 or not. At this point, the recommendation is that any woman that contracts COVID-19 during pregnancy should have more frequent follow-up visits with their obstetrician. We're not currently sure if COVID-19 is transmissible in breast milk. However, I have one study that gives good news. One report showed no virus in the breast milk of six patients that had COVID-19. However, if a nursing mother contracts COVID-19 while breastfeeding, it's highly recommended that she wear a mask or consider pumping and having a caregiver give the extracted breast milk to the infant to reduce transmission. We have known about two neonatal cases so far. These two reports are both out of China as well. One infant was 17 days old and contracted COVID-19 from his or her mother. And the other infant was a 36 hour infant that contracted COVID-19 from an unknown source. So that leads us to know that infants can contract COVID-19. However, a study that will be released studied over 2000 children ages day one to 18 years of age. They noted that symptoms of COVID-19 in children were relatively mild, and these children that contracted COVID-19 tended to not have severe illness. This is such good news. At this point, we don't have a lot of data about pregnancy and children with COVID-19, but the data that we do have so far is reassuring. Thanks for joining me children ages day one to 18 years of age. They noted that symptoms of COVID-19 in children were relatively mild, and these children that contracted COVID-19 tended to not have severe illness. This is such good news. At this point, we don't have a lot of data about pregnancy and children with COVID-19, but the data that we do have so far is reassuring. Thanks for joining me.